Drive with Kelly and Mark. Today from the new thriller, Ugly, Laverne Cox. Plus actor, composer, and recording artist, Usher. Also, tips for improving your memory as we wrap up our Turn Back Time Week. Say cheese. It's Friday the 13th of September, 2024. Yes. Why is Friday the 13th unlucky? Why? The culture origins of an enduring superstition. In Greece and Spanish-speaking countries, it's, it is Tuesday the 13th that is considered a lot of bad luck, while in Italy, it's Friday the 17th that is met with fear. Yes, Italians think yeah. the 13th is lucky. Yeah, there, I mean, I do know that on certain like, certain buildings in New York, a lot of them, they Most don't have them. the 13th floor. It goes from 12 right. to 14. Um, some good movies to watch on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th. Yeah, I said get, go with the original. Uh, the Cabin in the Woods. Oh. Uh, the Shining. Shining. It. It. The, the Blair. Blair. Witch Project. Project. This says number six, Halloween. No, don't watch Halloween on Friday the 13th. That's, that's, For a, Halloween. that's a Halloween movie. <laughs> yes. Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. Midsommar. Midsummer. Midsummer. <laughs> the Conjuring and Insidious. Yes. Yeah. All terrifying movies. Yeah. But really only the Friday the 13th. A new study reveals that stretching can increase how long someone lives. So the more flexible you are, the higher propensity you have to longevity in your life. The, I've de I have seen this thing on the Instagram mm -hmm. where they say if you can get up without using your hands, that's a good test. Oh. You gotta learn how to oh, right. get Yeah, I'm good yeah. at that. Yeah. I can get up without yeah, using my hands. I can't. <laughs> well, I'm in a skirt. I'm in a pencil skirt. I'm definitely. I, I definitely am feeling tight as you get older, tighter. And I remember. I can. I. I remember the the moment it happened was just getting out of a cab. Oh. And putting my foot, like getting out of a cab and putting your foot down and not slipping and falling off. See, this is why you're always wondering why I'm always like moving around and I'm very bendy because mm -hmm. I'm always stretching. Like I'm always stretching. Even when I'm standing or sitting, I've always got a leg up. If we're talking in the kitchen, I've got my leg up on the chair or I've got my leg up on, on the countertop. <laughs> I, I like to keep it flexible. Um, Keep it flexible. Yeah. Anyway, stretch if you want to live stretch longer. It. It, is, yeah. it is comprehensive and it is yeah. we took a We did a little yoga um, when we were on vacation in yes. August. That was, it was nice. So nice. That yoga was really, was nice. really nice. We did a yoga meditation. Uh huh. And it's called something. I don't know the name of it. It goes from a little bit of movement, about 15 minutes is it of Kundalini? movement. Kundalini? No. Kundalini is Kundalini. More breathing. And then you go and lay down on the ground. And we did, we got cozy with pillows. And um, she took us through like a whole. Shavasana? That's it. Yeah. No, no, no. That's just. Shavasana is the end of, is end. The end of yoga. Oh, no, but it was like a whole, like, I mean. It was a know, type of yoga. At one point, it said, walk into the door and open the door. And what do you see? A big piece of chocolate cake. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And I remember um, everybody was quiet. It was four of us in there. And I had to clear my throat for like 15 minutes. Oh, and finally I just went, <clears throat> And then Lola got really, really upset. upset. <laughs> yeah. Because his coughing scared her out of her meditation. <laughs> and then she was like, you and your coughing and breathing. <laughs> All right. They're ranking the best countries to live in. Uh, which one do you think is number one? 
go with the United States of America. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're probably close. not. We're close. Switzerland, <laughs> Switzerland number one. Mm. We were just in Switzerland not too long ago. It's beautiful. I got to tell you. Yeah. I can see. I can see it. Switzerland yeah. is absolutely certainly the cleanest place I've ever been. Yeah, um, they have, you know, it's business, quality of life, entre entrepreneurship, social purpose, cultural influence, agility. I'm not sure what that would do, mean, I guess, be able to move around. Um, adventure, movers, power, and heritage. Number two, Japan. Oh. We've got to go to Japan. I would like to see We've Japan. We've got to go to Japan. Number three, the United States. Oh. The United States. Number four, Canada. Yeah. Canada. Of course, we are, you know what? You can't have one without the other. We are the peanut butter and jelly of That's the right. countries. Number five, Australia. Yeah. Oh. Um, they're saying that Hawaii has become the new Paris. Um, the Hawaiian island of Maui is the most romantic destination to visit with a partner. Really? Used to be Paris, and now uh, Maui is... 34% uh, of those surveyed said that Maui was the most romantic destination in the world, uh, usurping Paris. We were there just for a night, then we went to Lanai, I think. Yes, equally thrilling and exhausting. Right. You know, when you travel to romantic places, no matter how romantic and beautiful they are, if you are with your children, you you don't really understand the romance. You know, right. you're like, this is romantic. I don't get it. <laughs> well, if you're with your if, if if you're with a bunch of kids, the last thing you're thinking about is making more kids. <laughs> and those are uh, are the top places for romantic okay. places to visit with your. Uh, Partner, other American cities in the top 15 included Aspen, Colorado. Beautiful, I love Colorado. And uh, how about 11% of the vote said New York City? Yes. Yeah. New York is romantic. New York is a very romantic. And one city. of our kids is his nickname is Made in Montreal. <laughs> that is very good city. Won't tell, you, won't tell you which one, but he's our youngest. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Montreal. <laughs> we went away without the kids for our wedding That's anniversary. Right. Remember, your parents yeah. were like, leave the kids yeah. with us. And we were like, okay, okay. we're going to go away for two days. What could possibly happen? <laughs> Um, we've got a huge show today. Massive. The Burn Cox is here. Also, wait for it. Usher is here. I can't really say Usher without going Usher, Usher, Usher. 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 I wonder if he's going to come out and roller skate. Oh, my gosh, that'd be amazing. That was that'd amazing, amazing when he did that in the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, we also uh, wrap up Turn Back Time Week with tips on how to improve your memory. Please. <laughs> Please. I tried some of the tips backstage. It's not looking good for me. That's all I'm going to I'm just going to say, hopefully, I forget about this segment by the time it gets here. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. All right. Yeah. Let's ah. say hello to uh, Henry Cod Caudill from Melbourne, Florida, who watches the show on WESH. And he says he wants to stump me because he just wants to beat me at my game. <laughs> How you doing, Henry? That's a beautiful, is that a dolphin fish, a Mai Mai? What is that? Uh, it's a dolphin fish uh, at the restaurant Mai Mai. Yep. Mm. You know what? Um, I was actually off near Melbourne when I caught mm -hmm. um, uh, a dolphin fish, and I caught one, and the captain of the boat said, throw in all your other lines and, you, and, and just keep the other one in the, on, you know, on the hook, and we caught like three or four at the same time. Do you do that trick as well? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm afraid I'll lose the one I've got. That's a beautiful fish. That's a beautiful <laughs> fish. Okay, here, uh, you know how these, this game works, um, Henry. Um, yes. You've given us two statements. 
One is true, one is not. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is truth, is the truth, and if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh. And that. All right, I won $2,500 in my neighborhood raffle. Mm. Or I won $6,500 on a slot machine. He's lucky. Now, by neighborhood raffle, do you mean like your, like your guy's uh, poker night, illegal poker night at your house? <laughs> Was there actual... No, no, it's... Yeah. No, it's like a, uh, like a clubhouse, and we have a... Uh, every three months, we have a dinner, and, uh, and uh, like a... You know, like a... Like, you know, uh, every, all the neighbors get together and fooling around at the clubhouse, and then we have a... We sell the tickets and have a drawing. Okay. Huh? So the one they draw gets the twenty five hundred bucks. What are some of the other prizes? What are some of the other prizes? Say again? What are some of the other prizes you can win in the raffle? Well that's it. That's, that's it's it. Just, one, just, yeah. just cash. Yeah. Just cash. That's, that's it. I like it's, your it's, it's, yeah, it's like uh, you buy six for a hundred bucks, you get six tickets, or you can go uh, twenty bucks each. Okay, got it. All right. Um, and tell me about the slot machine. Do you play slots a lot? Where were you? Vegas. Huh. Huh. What casino? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 6500 bucks. you'd think you'd remember that. No, I, I don't think I can tell you the, the casino. I, I, you know, you're talking to an old guy. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. If I'm winning 6,500 bucks, I'm thinking I'm going to remember, like, the name of the casino, what the slot machine looked like, all that stuff. But, you know... Yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. Yeah. I won. I won twenty dollars at a casino in in um, Niagara Falls, and I can't remember which casino it was. Yeah, yeah that's his point. Yeah. So it is that's possible to not remember. Yeah. I, yeah. All right. Yeah. And twenty five hundred dollars in your neighborhood raffle, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that goes every three months. How, you know how you know how many times you go to Vegas and win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, Henry. I, I just cannot. I, I, you know, I could pick. I could, you know, throw out a name, but it, to be honest with you, I just don't remember which, which, the, the casino. Yeah. To be honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> here's the, here's the thing, Henry. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go. I haven't. I've had a rough week. I don't think I've, I've I haven't won that many times. But I'm gonna go with what I think. I think that you won twenty five hundred dollars. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Here we Wait go. a minute. Wait a minute. No. Here you know we what? Go. You know what? Here's what I think. Here's. I think you won. I think you won sixty five hundred dollars at a slot machine. That is correct. Yes. Okay. I, I was right. good. I was good at stuff, dude. <laughs> well, look. I'm sorry you didn't win the mug or the T-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for a great getaways travel trivia. <laughs> Okay, Henry, you're playing for a trip for two to the Pineapple Beach Club in Antigua. Seven days, six nights in a beachfront room. It's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at $8,100. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. Okay, here we go, Henry. Earlier this week, we talked with U.S. Open men's champion Yannick Sinner. What sport did Yannick say he gave up to play tennis? Ten seconds. Skiing. Skiing. Yes. Congratulations. 
promotions. You and the guests will enjoy seven days and six nights at Pineapple Beach Club, Antigua's most laid-back, all-inclusive resort. Fronted by a quarter-mile arc of powdery white sand beach, this adult-only hideaway features beachfront accommodations, five bars and restaurants, three pools, evening entertainment, and surreal waterfront dining. Your prize is valued at approximately $8,100. Congratulations, Henry. Now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a Typher Dome air fryer valued at approximately $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 191. 28. 28. Thanks for playing with us. When we return, Laverne Cox is here. Stick around. Still ahead a lot. Well, it's weird that we can't unsee it, and yet I blocked it out of my mind entirely. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in all next week when we begin this year's Record Breaker Week. I cannot believe it's been a year since the last Record Breaker Week. <laughs> the first record we will try to break is for the most... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The most balloons burst with boxing gloves. Cool. In one minute. The number to beat is 327. Doubles? Fast hands. Doubles or just by one, one person? No, one person. One person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, are we going to try that? You may try it, but you're not going to go for the record. We're not the people no, going for it. We've got an expert yeah. boxer here. Good, because it sounds dangerous, and, I, and balloons pop popping scares me anyway. <laughs> So I can't box and break balloons while I have my fingers in my ears. Thank you. Also on Monday's show, David Muir. And Wilder Valderrama will also be here. All right, get ready, everyone. She's a lover of fashion, an award-winning actress and producer. She stars now in the new thriller, Uglies. Please welcome back to the show, the stunning Laverne Cox. <laughs> Um, it's Alexander McQueen, it's um, and it's from his last full collection before he passed away, Plato's Atlantis. And it was a, it was recently seen um, in the um, Metropolitan Museum of Art exhibit, um, Sleeping Beauties: Awakening Fashion, that just closed a few weeks ago. So this was li this is literally a museum this piece. This is out right. of the museum. No. There's a different one that was in the museum, it. but it's, it's the same dress. Same. I own this. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I pulled this out of my closet because, you know, I'm like, I shop a, lo a little too much. And I love, like, when fashion meets art. I'm kind Me of obsessed. Too. And yeah. I've been collecting, like, vintage for several years, and now I've been and wearing the, it out. And the best place to shop is in your closet sometimes. Well, in my closet, for Yes, sure. exactly. <laughs> Where do you live? Are you in L.A. or New York? I have a place... <laughs> Sounds so bougie. I have a condo in Los Angeles, and I have a condo here. Oh, okay. nice. Yes. And um, speaking of clothes, um, last... That's where I was going to say, where do you... Yeah, where's your clothes? closet? So there's a, that's a good... That's a very good question. So last year, I was like... So I have a storage place called Guard Robe. Sarah Jessica Parker. Actually, Mon told me about it. That huh? sounds so fancy, don't I? Um, and Mon told me... There's a place called Guard Robe where you can, like... They have an app where your whole virtual closet is there. You can order your stuff and have them delivered in like 24 Wait, hours. Your own clothes? Your own clothes, yeah. You store them. You store them. But I I did this um, thing last year last year where I was like, I did um, some of my collection and put them on mannequins and I was like, oh my God, this is art. It should be on mannequins. And so I got the idea. I rented the apartment across the hall and now that apartment is like my kind of closet museum. Wait, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh my God. L hello. Um, Laverne, honey, you must be doing pretty good if you're renting an apartment across the hall to I house do, your clothing. I do need a new jo another job, for sure. <laughs> My business managers are like, um... 
your collection is probably, you probably have enough. I'm like, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a little bit of a problem. Do you so, spend um, a lot of time there? Do you ever go across the hall and just hang oh. out? Oh, absolutely. I've entertained. I've had the girls over and we have drinks. I just go and play dress up all I the time. I would like to be invited to your next dress up party. I, yeah. would, I would love that. Uh, come on over, girl. I will. Come right here in the city. Yeah. That is my cup of tea. Yeah. Like, uh, I, you're way smaller than me, no, so the clothes will be big. I just want to hang out. I just want to <laughs> hang out, and I just want to watch. I just want to watch. Like I, I'll bring my own clothes. I'll bring my Wait. stuff. I'll bring my Polly Pockets clothes. Do you store? <laughs> like, where do you store your stuff? No. It, it, so, okay. So we have. So I have my closet, which I just want to say, we are true New Yorkers, so we share a closet. It's. <laughs> it's a walk-through closet. It's, it's a nice okay. closet, but it's still like a challenge. His and hers, yeah. So I'm lucky that I have my dressing room here, and I store a lot of my clothes here. Got it. Yeah, so, so I, I, mean, I don't know. Because I live in it. So when I got my apartment here, this is TMI. When I got my apartment here, I actually went into escrow right before the pandemic, and it was going to be a pied de terre. So I was like, I got a studio, uh, and it was right. just going to be a, so it was a studio apartment. And then I met my the man who is I'm in limbo with now. Oh. <laughs> Exactly. We met during the pandemic. We met July 1st, 2020. And we're kind I of. I remember this. Yes. Right? And I, I still love him, but we're in limbo. So limbo. that's going to okay. have to change. So, anyway, so I moved here back to New York for him, kind of. Yeah, for him. <laughs> I've never done that before. And it, I, no regrets. But we're kind of like, some stuff has to change if it's going <laughs> to. Has he, have you been there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> never <laughs> For a man. Never you know, move for a man. Kelly, girl, I'm 52 years old. I know. I, I am a grown woman. As and you're elder, never move for a man. Aren't we the same age? I'm older. <laughs> okay. And as you're elder, never move for a man. No, I have no regrets about it, though. It's been such an amazing, beautiful experience. No matter what happens, I've learned so much about myself and I've experienced a love that has been life-changing. Oh. It's been beautiful. All right. All right. We're going to take a break. <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk about a place where everyone can be pretty. Stick around. Still ahead on Live, Usher. I'm so sorry to delay your surgery. I know how excruciating that can be. But we need your help. scene from Uglies. It's a new thriller. Tell us about the film. You play a doctor. I'm so happy. We shot this three years ago and finally it premieres oh on Netflix today. Yeah. Uglies is based on a young adult book series by Scott Westerfield that was um, just 19 years old. He wrote it in 2005 and it's a dystopian future where all the kids at the age of 16 have a mandatory surgery to make them pretty and the idea is that no one is discriminated against because of how they looked and it's an equal society so they move from ugly town literally to new pretty town after their surgery and everybody's happy and everything is wonderful and my character Dr. Cable is the architect of this brave new world but there is a little bit of a twist um, in this perfect world oh my god and look at the costumes and that I is mean, the brilliant Joey King stars as Tally I mean, she's and great. she is she's so she's incredible great. like and she, and she optioned this IP when she was 18 years old oh no kidding yeah she wow. was 22 when we shot she's 25 now can you imagine like well, having your own production company at that Age. What no. happens if a kid is actually already pretty or good looking? So what people need to understand is that the uglies are not actually ugly. They just haven't had surgery yet. The surgery uh -huh. is mandatory. It is mandatory. But there is... Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, don't. I think of my character as sort of a cross between Darth Vader and Miranda Priestly. Oh. <laughs> and she has really good intentions, but there is um, another character, Shay, who, um, so Tally is very much like, this is the system, I can't wait to have my surgery, I'm going to be pretty, and everything's awesome. And then Shay, play, played by Brianne Chu, is like, well, maybe there's another way. Maybe we shouldn't have to have the surgery, and maybe there's something else going on. And so um, you have to watch the movie. It is so good, so juicy. Anytime a doctor has a cross between Darth Vader and Miranda Priestley, sign me up. <laughs>
<laughs> Sign me up. I want to live in your dystopian town. I, I love had it. So much fun doing this. Oh. It's a dream come true. Come back and tell us when you're out of limbo as well. We want to hear oh, the end yeah. of the story. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Uglies premieres on Netflix today. Coming up next, Usher. Stick around. Monday on Live, David Muir. He's an eight-time Grammy-winning superstar who is currently in the midst of his international tour, Usher, past, present, future. Please welcome the one and only Usher. <laughs> A million dollars. You do. Come on. <laughs> now we all remember that show-stopping, show-stopping halftime performance. We are still talking about it all these months later. Yeah. Um, and I would think after that performance, which blew our minds, you would be exhausted. But you did something really amazing after that performance. I did. Maybe we have something in common. Yes. yes. What did you do? Uh, we turned it into the Super Super Bowl. We got married, me and my lovely wife, oh, Jennifer right. Raymond. In Las, Vegas. <laughs> in Las Vegas, officiated by Elvis. I don't know if you guys were officiated no. by Elvis. We were not officiated by Elvis. You no, weren't. We well, were. That was no. the plus for me. Amazing. <laughs> but it was great to have uh, immediate family there. My kids were there. Oh, that's so so nice. there. My mother was yeah. there. It was it was wonderful. The kids had a great time. Listen, yeah. you performed <laughs> in front of the biggest audiences ever, right? But is the Super Bowl different? Did you feel a different kind it's of It's one nerves? of the hardest stages to ever play because of the amount of time that you have. It's like everybody has this 15 minutes of fame idea, but it's really your 15 minutes of fame. Right. right. And you have to play a hit, you know? It's like you got to get right to it. Right. And I just exactly. decided to skate and it was do all of these That things. was so cool. Yeah. I love the skating. Now, Kendrick Lamar is yeah. performing in this year's Super Bowl. Any advice? You want to give well, him? They play the hits. You play know. the hits. hits right. Play the hits. And, uh, Do you, you know. think he'll bring out Drake? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> you, chose, you chose violence this morning, huh? <laughs> Is that what we're doing here? Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. It'll get together. Yeah. Uh, and you should broker it. Like, you should be there because... I want no part of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it's been a, it's been a great experience to say that um, I could play the Super Bowl. That's I understand right. yeah. how much pressure comes with it, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But I would wish it on you if you've had the career. I you know? think that I think that you are somebody like there are certain people like Jimmy Kimmel. Say I always say Jimmy Kimmel can host the Academy Awards every year because he's that good. You could perform at the Super Bowl uh, every year because yeah, you still have a few. Years. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Like, is it guaranteed? It's like, you, I don't really watch the game. Yeah. I show up for the halftime performance, and I'm like, oh, I could watch that year after year. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Yeah. It was yeah. great. Earlier this week, you were in Brooklyn performing uh, on your tour. Do you, have, do you have a show tonight? Yeah, in uh, Detroit. I'll be in Detroit oh, tonight. Oh, incredible. But I uh, played four sold-out nights at Barclay. Had a great time. Had some Good. special guests. It was, it was two wonderful. originally, right? And it was then originally two, and then we turned it into the House of Usher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you injured your neck. I did. Which to me is uh, like it's a massive injury, but having seen your shows, I I'm surprised you're not worse off because you are a very physical entertainer. Yeah. Um, how are you recovering? Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. You know, we had a bit of a, you know, a false start, and unfortunately I did have a, a slight neck injury, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm better now. And the tour has been amazing. It's, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. After my residency and the Super Bowl, I was really looking forward to being able to tour once again. And the fans have come out every night. There's been surprises. It's been an amazing tour so far. Is it different energy-wise, like going there versus them coming to you? Yeah. Uh, Vegas is, is much different. Mm -hmm. uh, and touring uh, is, is a different experience. I get a chance to... You know, go back to my beginning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I started here in New York City mm -hmm. in '94, right. so I really am able to celebrate. Oh. 
time for you. Yeah. Right, we're going to take a little break, but when we return, as if he doesn't have enough going on, we'll discuss Usher's concert movie that debuted yesterday. Stick around. Ayo, ayo. Và sau đây là màn biểu diễn của Các bạn để ý nha, mỗi con quái đây thì có tiếp hết Là mình đứng trên cao, nó ở dưới mình chém thôi Đó. Các bạn thấy nhàn hạ không? Quá nhàn hạ Tuy mình chơi gà Nhưng mình được cái phải dùng tiếp <cười> Công nhận con này mạnh quá Đánh 8 con tới sáng ngày mai luôn á Rồi đó, dùm chưa thôi Bụp Té lâu quá nha Chị mày đợi lâu quá Xong Tiếp theo Rồi chạy 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 Không sao, sức khỏe còn Cái heo thờ, cái heo thờ vẫn còn Không sao, không sao Bây giờ mày tức giận ở dưới thì có làm được gì? <cười> chị chứ, đi chị chị chị, lẹ mẹ có lửa à? Chị đang trên đây mà. Sao? Chờ hồi nãy thì mới có ba đứa hả? À? Ê các các bạn nó đánh làm sao nha? U u u ai ai dạ? Ui ai dạ? Hay quá bạn ơi. Bạn cho tôi con được không? Đây. Mất nớp nha. Ừ. Ừ. 